Drake ain't nobody at all Doctors, we body them all The prophets is back and we pulling your cards Your pastor a lie, he a fraud You messed up and stepped in a room full of gods And hopped in a pool full of sharks So watch what you saying when you do respond Or get left looking foolish and all Like who that one smoke ain't nobody at all Doctors, we body them all The prophets is back and we pulling your cards Your pastor a lie, he a fraud You messed up and stepped in a room full of gods And hopped in a pool full of sharks So watch what you saying when you do respond Where was I going? Go to uh, J. Go to John three and three. I'm gonna let y'all go in a minute, man. Y'all some humble brothers, man. John three and three. Now this is what we gotta do. We gotta endeavor to keep the unity by keeping the commandments. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Read John chapter three and verse three. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. See the kingdom of God. So you got to be what? Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again. Except a man be what? Born again. Uh -huh. He cannot see the kingdom of God. You cannot see the kingdom of God without being what? Born again. So what does that mean? What does that mean, being born again? Uh, be alive. Be alive, okay. Really? What that mean? What that mean to be born again? You know you can't go back in your mama's womb. So what is it talking about? Be born okay. again. Let me, uh, first Peter 1, 2. What that mean? That's all right. If you don't know, say you don't know. All oh, praise to the most high. That's all right. That's why we're here, bro. She might need to be around. That's exactly why. We talked about this earlier. <laughs> Read that, bro. First Peter chapter 1 and verse 23. Uh -huh. Being born again, not of corruptible seed. Not corruptible seed is this world. Is this is seeing in the world. That's corruptible, the corruptible seed. Read. But of incorruptible. But we got to be of the incorruptible seed, which is God laws, God commandments. The faith in Christ is incorruptible. You understand that? Read. By the word of God. By the word of God. Romans 12 and 2. So let me show you what born again means another, another way. Romans 12 and 2. Good job. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. And be not conformed to this world. There you go. Be not conformed to the corruptible seed, which is sin. Don't do that. Read. But be ye transformed. By the renewing of your mind. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind to keep the incorruptible seed. You understand? It makes sense, don't it, bro? It makes sense, read. That ye may prove what it is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Hey, sister, how you doing? I ain't gonna be afraid of me and your brother. Come on up here. She said what? She just need to know her nationality. need to know your nationality. Let me show you real quick. What's your name, sister? Shaquita, where you from? Here, but I stay in Memphis. You stay in Memphis? Oh, Lord, you right. All, all praises to the Most High. Hey, lady, how you doing? Good. You doing all right? I also want to know what color God is. You want to know what color God is? All right, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. Well, I'm gonna try to. Give me Deuteronomy one and one. How you, how you doing, sis? What's your name? Ashley. Ashley. I might, uh, Ashley and Sir. Sir Queen. All right, read that. Deuteronomy chapter one and verse one. Let me ask you a question. What question is your name? What does God call you in the Bible outside of a child of God? Okay, good. You don't know. Okay, now nah, good. Deuteronomy chapter one and verse one. Do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe in the Bible? No. I, I grew up in like. I gotta get more. Okay. Okay. You believe in God? Okay. I read. Deuteronomy chapter one and verse one. These be the word which Moses spake unto all Israel. She said she got a question. I'm not gonna bite you. Don't, don't let it be loud. Deuteronomy chapter one and verse one. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Now, who is Moses speaking to right now? Who did he say he's speaking to? He said all Israel, right? So I'm gonna prove to you who these Israelites are in the Bible. Read. Deuteronomy chapter seven and verse six. For thou art an only people. What did God say about these, these Israelites? Read. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. God said the Israelites are holy. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a 
special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now, did you hear that? God said the Israelites are special and above all people. You hear that? So the Israelites are holy, chosen, special, and above all people. Now, let me ask you a question. Those shoes you got on your feet, those shoes you got on your feet, did you choose to wear those today? Did you choose to wear those today? Can anybody change your mind about it? By wearing your shoes? You, God chose the Israelites and there's nothing we can do about it. Nothing we can do about it. Nothing we can do. But he also said that the Israelites are above all people. Ain't nothing we can do about that either. But the good thing is, we are the Israelites. We are the ones he chose. We are the ones that's above all people, that's holy and chosen and special. We are those people. But I'm going to prove it to you, okay? Let me do the run me 28, 1 and 2. Now, if the Israelites don't do, if the Israelites do what God say, this is what's going to happen to them. Read it, 1 and 2. Do the run me chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth and all these blessings. God said all these what? All these blessings. Don't come on the Israelites if they keep the commandments. Read. Shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So we listen and do the commandments. God said he's going to bless us. So are black people blessed today as a whole? Are we, we at the, are we at the top or the bottom of society? Bottom. Right. So this scripture don't fit us right here. But it really does, but I'm going to show you why it doesn't right now. But let me show you the scriptures that does fit us, and you're going to see it for yourself. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 15. Now, if the Israelites don't do what God say and don't keep his commandments, this is what's going to happen. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses. Hold on, start again. Hold on. You ready, sis? Start again. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee. All these what? All these curses. All these curses are going to come on the Israelites if they don't do what God say by keeping their commandments. So just jump to the first curse. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 16. This is a curse that identifies the Israelites. Let's see if we fit them. Let's see if your people fit these curses. Read. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Curse shall thou be in the city. Curse shall thou be in the city. Now you say you're from Greenville, but you live in Texas. Uh -huh. Memphis. So everybody in Greenville and in Memphis that live in, who live in a trap, the hood, the ghetto? Who live there? What people? Who, who, who you say? You say we. Who you say? You say we. Remember you said we. Because who was Moses talking about? What, what he called it? He called them the children of Israel. Remember? Y'all just said we. <laughs> you just said we. You answering your own question. What's your nationality? You answered it. Read. Keep reading. And cursed shall thou be in the field. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Did your ancestors pick cotton? Yeah. Is that a curse? Yeah. Who that happened to? Did that happen to your people? Did it happen to your people? Who was Moses talking to? Israel. Who was Moses talking to? So if that happened to you and this happened to them, and he talking about the Israelites right here, what that make you? What that make you? See that? Let's keep going. Go to verse 32. We're going to keep going. Read. Now remember, these are the problems we're going through for disobedience, for not listening and doing what God say. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Yeah. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Did that happen to your people? Yes, Who is Moses talking to? Yes, Who is Moses talking about? So what that make you? See, don't, see, don't, don't buck up. Don't just read. Don't buck at it. You understand? Keep read. And thine eyes shall look and fell with loving for them all the day long. You, you have children? You have children? You have one? Let me ask you a question. If you got nieces and nephews? You love them, don't you? You love your child, don't you? Now listen, say we was in slavery, and master, the oppressor, come to you, pull you out the house, and your children, you and your nephews, pull you out of there, 
and say, I'm going to separate. I want the little boy and I want the little girl or whatever y'all got. I want them, but I'm going to leave y'all behind. How would that make y'all feel? I would be angry, sad. How would you feel? Right. Did that happen to our people? Right. Who Moses talking to? Who Moses talking to? The Israelites. So this is our history book right here. This is our history book. We've never been taught this. This is why a lot of our people don't believe in the Bible. Or they say, I don't know if I believe it or not. Because you ain't never been taught right. You've been taught Christianity. We don't believe in Christianity. Christianity is not even in the Bible. Right. Not one time. It's not even in the Bible. We don't believe in Christianity. We believe in the truth. We believe in keeping God's laws and the faith of Christ. Now, you will be, read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Uh -huh. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, uh -huh. and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thy hand. Like you just said, you're going to be mad. Fail with them. Fail with longing for your kids, for your nieces and nephews all day long. You, but you can't do nothing. What's the last part? And there shall be no might in thy hand. Now what could you do about it? See? This is our history. This is absolutely talking to us. This is what we go through now, even today. CPS come and take our children. This happens to us all the time. Jump to verse 68, get to the point. Now I'm gonna ask you a question. Cause I, got, I wanna teach that sister too. How you doing sister? All right, now, how did the so-called African-Americans get from Africa to the United States? How? By ships, what you say? By ships, what you say? By ships, watch this. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Last yeah. curse in Deuteronomy right here. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The word Egypt means bondage. So are you familiar with Moses parting the Red Sea? Now the children of Israel walked out of slavery or walked out of bondage, right? When he parted the Red Sea. So Egypt is synonymous with bondage. Okay, read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt or slavery or bondage. Again, again, but how? With ships. How? With ships. She said ships. How? With ships. She said ships. But how? With ships. She said ships. But how? With ships. Read. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Now, y'all just heard this biblical history. Your history is in the Bible. This you can't refute it. We all know we came over here on slave ships. But it's right here, and Moses is speaking to the children of Israel. So it make y'all are the children of Israel. So what's one of the first things that would happen when you got to Jamestown? What's one of the first things you would happen when you docked that boat? When they docked, it, docked that boat, what's one of the first things that happen? You gonna separate you? Good answer. What you think, Sid? What you say? You gonna sell you? What you say? Sell, what you say? Watch this. Y'all history in the Bible. Read. And there ye shall be so. Hold on, what? And there you shall be what? So. I swear, I swear y'all just answered that question. Y'all just said sail. This is y'all history. You answer it. It fits you. It's you. Y'all are the children of Israel. Right. Right. No doubt about it. Am I twisting your arm to make you believe it? Are you hearing the words? You hearing the words of the Bible. I'm not making this up. I didn't write this. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Now to your what? Enemy. Now to your what? Enemy. Go to Deuteronomy 28, 48. Now it said you're going to be sold unto your enemies. Who were we sold to? I mean, who bought us? Don't, don't be scared. It's all right. When we said, what you say? White people. White folks. Caucasians. That's what the Bible just said. You're going to be sold to your enemies. So are they our friends or our enemies? What you say? They are enemies. Listen, listen. I didn't listen. This was hard for me. I had to go back. I, I, I called that man for seven straight months trying to debunk this. Seven straight months. I had like no way. This is it. This is the truth. This is it. He they called so-called white man our enemies. Did you hear that? I didn't see it. Go to Deuteronomy 28, 48. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemy. Shall we serve what? Thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. Who sent the enemies against us? Read. Which the, which the Lord shall send against thee. Who sent the enemies against us? The Lord. Who sent the enemies against us? Who sent the Lord? Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. 
And hunger. And hunger. Where you gotta go to the store? I mean, where you gonna go, go get food from? Who own the grocery stores? Thank you. Read. And in thirst. Where you get your water from? Who own the water? Read. And in nakedness. Where you get your clothes from? What's the, who own all the stores? Read. And in want of all things. Where you get your driver's license from? Right. Who own that? Where you get your birth certificate from? Who own that? Thank you. <laughs> and he shall put a yoke of iron. Oh, it said he, the enemy, shall do what? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And he shall do what? Put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Who put a yoke of iron on our neck? Who put these yokes of iron on our neck? Not only whites, all the other nations outside of Israel brought us in slavery. All of them. And God going to get all of them back when we start doing what he said. That's right. The recompense is coming. Better believe it. It's coming. So there's some things you guys got to do. Thank you, officer. Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Now, do you know what your nationality is now? What, what are you now? Israelite. You're an Israelite. No doubt, ain't it? What about you, sis? You're an Israelite. All praises to the most high. All praises. That's what I'm talking about. Give me that. Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Now you know you're Israelites. You know you're Israelite. You know you're Israelite. God requires something that you read. And now Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? What he require of y'all? Sisters, what do he require of you? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, uh -huh. and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul. Now, how do you do that? So God requires you to do that because y'all know y'all Israel. But how do you love God with all your heart, mind, body, and soul? How do you walk in all, what you say? Sure. By being obedient. What you say? Sure. Trust in him, okay. Sure. Cherish him, okay. Those are vague answers. So how do I trust in him? How? Faith, okay. How do I have faith in him? Prayer. How do I pray to him? Okay. How? How do I walk in all his ways? Okay, that's okay. How? By repenting, that's right. But okay, after I repent, what I gotta do? That's all right. That's why we out here to teach. That's why we out here. So I'm gonna show you. I'm getting house. Start again. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God uh -huh. with all thine heart uh -huh. and with all thy soul. Uh -huh. To keep. To do what? To keep. That's the answer right here. To keep. To keep what? The commandments. To keep the commandments is how you love God. Yeah. That's what's required of you. You understand? That's what's required of you, sisters. You understand? Let me show you a commandment that you can you got to start applying. Give me Leviticus 11 and 7. Officer Ben and I favorite scripture. Give me Leviticus 11 and 7. Give me get that. Leviticus chapter 11 verse 7. Now y'all know what swine is, right? Yeah. What swine? What swine? What swine, see? Yeah, it is. Read. Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. Uh -huh. Read up. And the swine, though he divided the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. The swine is what? Unclean to you. The pig is what? Unclean to you. So should you eat it if God says unclean to you? So do you eat pork? Stop it. Stop it. Today. Stop it today. You know what? I actually got to a point. I said I got to add a piece of That's right. Well, pork, don't, definitely don't eat pork. What, do you eat catfish? Yeah. Eat crab, lobster, shrimp? Yeah. Y'all eat that? Yeah. Read, keep reading. Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 9. Then shall ye eat of all, of all that are in the water. Eat all what? Of all that are in the water. This is what God tells us to eat all in the waters. Read. Whatsoever has fins and scales. So it, it gotta have fins and scales. Read. In the water uh -huh. and in the seas and in the rivers. Uh -huh. Them shall ye eat. Them shall you eat. So, do catfish got fins and scales? No. No. Does... Crawfish have fins and scales. No. Does shrimp have fins and scales? Crawfish is a bug. It's a mud bug. A bug. It's a bug. A mud bug. 
Does crab legs have fins and scales? Mm -hmm. Right, so should you eat these things, because you are now new creatures, you know you Israelites, should you eat these things now? Uh -huh. No. The, it's the, the land cousin of the roach. When right. you flip a roach over and you flip a shrimp over, yeah. they look they like exactly the alike. They're both arthropods. So you got a land roach and a sea roach. Right. And that's what the shrimp is. That's why you find a roach. Where you find a roach at? Mm. In the corners, up under the couch, yeah. in the cabinets, right. in the dark places. Where you find the shrimp? At the bottom of the ocean, in the darkest places, bottom eating feeders. the filth. Bottom feeders. So wow. you eat that, you eat the roach. Wow. Don't eat roaches, y'all. Hey. <laughs> hey, don't eat roaches. Rule of the day. Don't eat roaches. Thank you. Thank you, Cap. Hey, listen up. So that's one thing you got to stop. You got to stop eating pork, and you can only eat things out of the water that have fins and scales. Right? Because you Israelites now. It pro we proved it to you. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.